Hello, welcome to lesson three of our introduction to process philosophy. You will recall that we are going over nine ideas which Whitehead uh, repudiates or rejects as he begins to develop his own philosophy in his book Process and Reality. Uh, in the last lesson, recall we, did, we realized that Whitehead believes that speculative philosophy is a worthy endeavor. Uh, Whitehead believes that good ideas are not reducible to the language in which they are articulated. Whitehead believes that the minds of human beings are not divided into isolated compartments or faculties, and that our feelings and reflections and decisions are woven together in the depths of our immediate experience. Those are the positive beliefs that Whitehead holds uh, and proposes for our consideration as he rejects the first three ideas listed uh, among the nine in the preface. Now we're going to deal with the fourth idea um, that he rejects. And it's listed there simply as the subject predicate form of expression. Uh, we should be clear that Whitehead does not reject that grammatical structure. He knows that we speak in terms of subjects to which predicates are added. But what he rejects is the idea that that particular form of grammatical expression represents or mirrors our actual experience. His idea is that if we actually look at our experience, we realize we're not subjects to which predicates are added, that our activities, our feelings of the surrounding world, our interactions with one another uh, constitute who and what we are as human beings. We emerge out of our felt relations and our interactions with others, as you see in the two boys in this image. In other words, um, the actualities of our world, people included, are formed or constituted by their relations with one another. So his repudiation of the subject predicate form of expression is a repudiation that it represents the very nature of lived experience. Now, of course, for Whitehead, animals um, are living beings too, and of course, animals are relational too. Plants are in the same boat. The living cells in a, in a plant are what they are in their relation to other cells in that plant. And indeed, Whitehead proposes that even the energy events within the depths of, the atom, of an atom emerge out of their relation, relations with other energy events. Uh, moreover, Whitehead proposes that even the unity of the universe, even God, is relational. Some people might imagine this unity they might imagine God as the subject of a sentence to which predicates are added. Whitehead says no. Uh, Whitehead says God, the soul of the universe, emerges in and out of felt relations with everything that is, felt relations with the multiplicity of the universe itself. So in this particular um, item, in this list of nine ideas to be rejected, the subject predicate mo form of expression, I hope you see that what its aim is to say that reality does not exactly mirror grammar. Uh, the really real things of our universe, divine, atomic, human, animal, are what they are in relation to other things. You might say that there are no subjects without predicates, and the predicates are what form or create the subject. That's the philosophy of organism that Whitehead attempts to um, enunciate and articulate in process and reality. Next time we'll deal with something very important in Whitehead, namely his rejection of the sensationalist doctrine of perception. See you then. Take care.